does, does anybody say to you at any point, and I imagine it's not anybody high up, but it's someone that kind of behind the scenes has been there a long time, do they kind of whisper in your ear and go, just so you know, well, now it's been announced you're going to be the doctor for the rest of your life. You'll have people with what looked like an anorak and greasy hair stood outside wherever you're going to be with a picture of you you don't remember being taken and they will ask you questions about Doctor Who storylines that you don't understand. And then they disappear back into the background. I think you just... Uh, I, listen, I think there's a there's a there's perhaps an unfortunate stereotype being indulged in there about anorex and greasy hair. They're outside. But certainly, certainly it's true that, uh, yeah, there are Doctor Who fans There tend to be wherever one goes, yeah. But it is, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It really is amazing. If we say, you know, like, there was... I don't mean to be offensive. I think there was two people outside for Lord Sugar. Right. And then, all, you know, all the people arrive for you. And it's it's quite... The Doctor Who thing is quite scary. Yeah, it's, 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 it's it, like Trekkies. It's the, you yeah, know, yeah. And I know people are going to go, aren't you called as Trekkies? But you know what I mean? They're enthusiasts, that. It's aren't enthusiasm, they? that's yeah. all it is. Yeah, and it's, it's lovely to be mm. part of that. Yeah. To be associated with that. Yeah, you can. you kind of know, you know, you know that that's part of what you're taking on. Yeah. You don't know what it's going to feel like until you're in it, mm. but of course it's it, it's. Listen, it's nice to be to be liked for something. Um, but you you're glad that you kind of decided to move on and and. I think it was the right thing to do at the right time. Yeah, I mean, I could have stayed quite happily, but I, I think it was probably. I think if I'd stayed another year, then I would I would just have kept staying until. Well, I was about to say, out. do you look back now and go? Do you know what? I'm actually quite impressed myself that I just went. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm done now. Thanks for that. I'm mm. gonna move on. Um, because as you get older, I think, and it's not that. How many years ago is it? It Four, was five years uh, ago? 2009. I finished filming it. Yeah. <gasps> right. So three years ago now. Yeah. So oh, it just feel longer actually. Mm. But I think when you when you often look back at decisions like that, you go, "Wow, I'm quite." I think I'd have struggled with that decision now more yeah. than I probably did. It's funny. It, I, I still feel it was the right thing to do, and that was I was worried that, you know, I might look back and go, oh, I wish I'd stayed longer. And I could have stayed longer, and I would still have enjoyed it, but I just think... I think it's one of those things that was such an extraordinary kind of heightened time that mm. I had to kind of leave while it was still new and exciting and fun. Mm. Otherwise, it would have just been something that I just kept doing because it was the job that I did, mm. and I didn't want it... I wanted it to, to feel like something special. Mm. Do you ever see it? Do you ever catch... Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. I love it. I'm a, I'm a proper fan. 